Hello traders and welcome to another edition of what's moving in the Forex market. As always, please keep in mind that all comments made by pristine instructors, including myself, are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition to that, as always, also keep in mind that Pristine offers an excellent list of free webinars every single week. Here is a list of some of our upcoming webinars for this week, starting Monday, July 20th. We've got two uh, going on throughout the week and then highlighting also Thursday, July 23rd with Greg Capper, president and CEO of Pristine. But as always, uh, for the full list of upcoming webinars, check out www.pristine.com. All right, let's take a look at where we are at here for this coming week in the Forex market, starting in the upper left with Euro US dollar. We can see that this pair continues to be range bound overall. However, we've seen a considerable, a considerable amount of additional weakness coming in, bringing us to this prior low and so we'll see where we go from here but it does look as though we will see additional weakness coming in over the next uh, several days and, and maybe even weeks as we look at the weekly chart you can see that it does look like we're now ready to break below this range here and start heading back down towards the early March lows uh, down down in this area here so keep that as a targeted level if Euro US dollar does begin to weaken which based on the chart patterns is uh, is suggesting that's exactly what's going to happen moving on over to Aussie dollar US dollar this continues to slowly bleed lower had been a pretty choppy week overall a lot of indecision going sideways but staying weak and looking to continue weakening we're starting to see additional weakness uh, for for the start of this week we'll see if that follows through if not you know it's not like there's a ton of upside potential here we've got all this resistance overhead so um, the general bias is definitely more bearish if we take a look at the weekly we can see supply bears in control so that's the dominating emotion here that's that's the direction in which we would want to trade but again we'll see what happens this has been a bit of a bleed rather than any kind of real fluid movement lower moving on over to the right new zealand dollar us dollar this continues to move lower nicely we were looking at the potential in last week's video for this prior low to hold that did not happen it continued to fall through this area and that's why we have to constantly be objective because regardless of whether we thought this low was going to hold one of the keys that strongly suggested that was not going to happen occurred um, you know on the intraday charts when we got this big sharp sell-off right this move lower this is not the way in which you come down to a low with with a successful retest this is something that ignites a move lower that would send you through a prior low and that's exactly what has happened here now so we'll see we did get a strong move off of this uh off this here low on the four hour chart we'll see what it amounts to if anything but going back to the daily we can see again we are in a downtrend and i mean at this point there, there's no real end in sight at, at this moment. We're just continuing to bleed lower. The weekly chart continues to weaken. Um, you know, we might be getting close. We did see a full-bodied bearish candle here last week, so we might be getting close. But you know, again, the the trend is down. We want to be going with that. We want to be looking for bearish opportunities if they set up per your plan. Don't chase anything. Moving on down here, bottom right, US dollar yen. This pair continues to slowly work its way higher, looking to break out and, and maybe <clears throat> get some strength here for this week, which is really what I've been talking about in, in past videos. You can go back and check those out. But uh, I was saying how this area 
uh, was was the area in which I'd be looking for a long to develop. It has started to move higher, so I will be looking for bullish opportunities on the intraday charts of U.S. dollar yen here, mostly due to the the weekly chart. If you look at this weekly chart, we've got a beautiful what we call a pristine buy setup that formed and triggered. Now we're moving back on up to this prior high, and we should be able to move through it. And if this weekly uptrend is going to continue, a higher high will happen, whether it is this week, next week, you know, or in the coming weeks, we'll see. But I do expect that in the relatively near future, we will see this prior high exceeded. So again, we're going to look for opportunities to develop on the on the daily and, and intraday charts, which it seems we're getting already. Moving on over, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, beautiful uptrend remains in place. And uh, again, why fight the trend? Why fight the trend? This may take a little bit more time, let, letting these moving averages catch up a bit more. But uh, at the same time, <clears throat> weekly chart, very bullish. Nice uh, multi-day or multi-week move higher. So we'll see. We're looking to get a little bit of follow-through to it here right now. Um, as I said, daily chart is looking bullish. No real reason to think it won't continue to move higher. Getting a breakout here on, on the four-hour. So, again, buyers are... are in control and we're going to want to go with the flow of the trend right that's what we want to do the majority of the time so uh, bullish bias here on us dollar canadian dollar don't see anything i love here at the moment but it, it is definitely something that i'll be keeping an eye on and finally pound us dollar here we'll see what happens i do expect based on the weekly time frame that this will be an area to hold price from falling much lower i i think that um, buyers will continue trying to step up we've already seen them trying here in in these last couple days but uh, we are starting this week off a bit more bearish we'll see how this develops but again as i said given the weekly time frame this higher low here i am expecting that we can stabilize and begin to try and move higher uh, that being said there is of course the possibility that we need to come all the way back to this prior low test that and that's where buyers are going to step up. I don't really see that as being the likely scenario at this moment in time, but it is something we have to at least keep our mind open to the possibility of. So time will tell. Right now uh, we are, as I said, getting a little bit of weakness. Here's the four-hour chart. If this breakdown fails, that's going to be a very bullish message. If, on the other hand, it does continue to follow through, it'll come down to at least – this uh, 1.5473 area, and then we'll see where it goes from there. So uh, time will tell, as I said, but again, the, these larger time frames, the weekly primarily or specifically is indicating a more bullish bias, and that's why I'm expecting any weakness on the daily to be short-lived uh, for the most part. So we'll see how everything plays out. As I said before, make sure to check out our list of webinars for this coming week. Um, highlighting once again the one with Greg on Thursday, July 23rd at 4.15. So in the meantime, guys, stay disciplined, stay patient, uh, and stay confident. We'll talk to you on the next video. Until then, be well and uh, have a great week.